clinical case. 65, be careful, huh? 65 year old man with a long history of smoking and type 2 diabetes, type 2 diabetes, presents with a complaint of cramping pain in his right calf. Uh -huh. He states the pain occurs after walking two blocks and reliably relieved by a few minutes of rest. Terminate conduction. On physical exam, his right dorsalis pedis pulse is no palpable. Oh la la. Which of the following is the most appropriate next step to confirm the diagnosis? So we have four options. Option A, order a computer tomography angiogram of the lower extremities. Um, obtain a venous duplex ultrasound to rule out deep vein thrombosis. Measure uh, the ankle branchial index. Yes, refer the patient for a structured exercise program. No, why not? But the correct answer is a measure the ankle brachial index, ABI. So this is option uh, C in this case. Okay, guys. So the patient's presentation, cramping leg pain with, exer with exertion, that is relieved by rest, intermittent claudication, of course, combined with significant risk factors, that is, smoking di and diabetes, and a diminished pulse, even absence, huh, is the classical picture of what? Peripheral arterial disease, PAD. So measure the ankle branchial index. This is the correct answer. Why? The ABI, uh, ankle branchial index, is the best initial diagnostic text for suspected PAD, peripheral arterial disease. It's a simple non-invasive and highly sensitive test that compares the systolic blood pressure in the ankle to the systolic blood pressure in the arm. So systolic blood pressure in the ankle and systolic blood pressure in the arm. So an AB ratio uh, less than 0 0.90 is diagnostic for PAD, peripheral arterial disease. So this test should always always be the first step to confirm the diagnosis before considering more advanced imaging or treatment. Uh, for a patient, so high yield takeaway from this, huh? for a patient with suspected peripheral uh, artery disease based on history and physical exam, the ankle branchial index is the most appropriate, non-invasive and cost effectiveness first step to confirm the diagnosis and management, of course, changing lifestyle, etc., etc., etc. Always the same, always metabolic syndrome. Stay blessed, my beloveds. That's all. That's folks.